How is climate justice linked to the COVID-19 vaccine? Just as we have seen with the climate crisis, the world's poorest and most vulnerable people are the ones who are worst affected by the pandemic. Since the onset of the pandemic, 350 has been calling for a just recovery for all. And that includes, as a priority, putting the health of people first, with no exceptions. However, we are now seeing what the World Health Organization is calling a shocking imbalance in the global distribution of vaccines between rich and poor countries. And I might add, between rich and poor citizens within some countries. If this deep inequity were to continue, it would take several years before everyone was vaccinated. And until everyone is safe, no one is safe. One way to tackle this would be to waive the patent on all vaccines. If we do that, then we can boost the global production and distribution of the vaccine. Some political leaders have started to talk about this, but frankly, we need a lot more. We need global leaders to take a real stand and put people before profit. Do we want to put the lives of people around the world first, or do we want to favour the profits for select corporations? It really is time for leaders, particularly those of industrialised nations, to take a stand and make the right decision. World leaders need to recognise the lived realities of people around the world. That is really important to us achieving climate justice, as much as it is for us to resolve the ongoing health pandemic.